Hello, people. I, I will dare to make a statement that will sound insulting, but it's not insulting. It's telling me the way it is. The MAGA people, you know, they call MAGA people, make America great again. That's what they call MAGA people, right? Who follow Trump, something is wrong with them. You say, come on, why are you saying that? I'll prove it to you in a minute. I'll prove it to you in a minute. Number one, what is the policy of Trump since he's he be talking about running for president? You say, what are you talking about? Yes, I know what I'm saying. I say, what is the policy of Trump for running for president? He was president for four years before, right? What was his policy? He does not have a clear one. Okay, let me play this for you. And then just summarize this for you. This guy does not have a plan. I'll come back. Trump, this is now your third time. Hold on. Let me increase the volume properly. Okay. Trump, this is now your third time running for president. You have long vowed to repeal and replace the Affordable Care Act, also known as Obamacare. You have failed to accomplish that. You now say you're going to keep Obamacare, quote, unless we can do something much better. Last month, you said, quote, we're working on it. So tonight, nine years after you first started running, do you have a plan? And can you tell us? Please hear. Please hear. Obamacare was lousy health care. Always was. It's not very good today. You hear that? And what I said, that if we come up with something, and we are working on things. Did you hear that? We're going to do it, and we're going to replace it. But remember this. No, I, do, no. Did you hear that? We are in 2024. Nine years ago, he be complaining about Obamacare. By the way, when Trump was in office for four years, he tried to destroy Obamacare 63 times. If I remember the number correctly, either 63 times or 66 times, he tried to destroy Obamacare, but he does not have the bipartisanship to get it destroyed when he was in office. Okay, now, nine years later, since he first started talking about Obamacare is bad, Obamacare is bad, he still does not have a plan to replace Obamacare. Remember, he tried more than 60 times to kill the Obamacare. It didn't work. So he's running for president again, a second term. And he still does not have a plan to, to replace Obamacare he wants to destroy when he tried 60-something times before. People, you know, I'm sorry to say, man, if you follow Trump, something is wrong with you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. That just let's be honest with each other. This guy does not have a plan. In one of his meetings, he's talking about people should buy bacon again, bacon. So the economy is bad. People need to buy bacon. So when the economy is bad, people can off buy food. Your cons the example of food item you should mention is bacon. Are you serious? I'm, I I'm never even think about becoming a mayor or anything, but I know better that when you climb on some high stages like that, every word, every example you use have to be properly analyzed. A president, a presidential candidate, a former president, you are talking about the economy, you're talking about people can buy food, and the example you give is bacon? Are you serious? And he was talking about Immigrants, also something else. He's talking about immigrants who in in Springfield, Ohio, who eat a, a people's dog and cat, and it's not true. He heard it from his vice president, and the vice president heard it from somewhere. They called the city manager of Springfield, Ohio. He said, "There's nothing like that." So this guy is a presidential candidate. Where is he getting his example from? Let me tell you. You know, it has been verified that Trump has some crazy people around him. Please hear me properly. He will deliver you. Trump has some crazy people around him who tell him stranger things. Stranger things. And he will take it to the pupil or he will take it to the podium to say, oh, people are saying this. This is happening. That's happening. Everything he says, I heard some people around him are telling him that's what is happening. And without checking it 
without investigating it, he take it to the podium as if that's what is happening to millions of people. Well, maybe it's not even happening to two people. A presidential candidate? Okay, let me play the rest. Let me go back a little and play the rest so you can hear. Is this man worthy to be followed, even if you want to be a mayor? Please hear. So tonight, nine years after you've nine years. Running, do you have a plan, and can you tell us what it is? Obamacare was lousy health care. Always was. It's not very good today. And what I said, that if we come up with something, and we are working on things. We are working on it. it. And we're going to replace it. But remember this. September 2024. I inherited Obamacare because Democrats wouldn't change it. They wouldn't vote for it. They were unanimous. They wouldn't vote to change it. If to change it to that, what? You don't have a plan. Better plan than Obamacare. But the Democrats. What plan? Out, you don't have it. Vote for it. I had a choice to make when I was president. Do I save it and make it as good as it can be? Never going to be great. Or do I let it rot? <laughs> and I felt I had an obligation, even though politically it would have been good to just let it rot and let it go. Away. You were not able I to. Your mama. I told my people the top. I'm sorry, people, I say that. Very good people. I have a lot of good people in this that administration. We read about the bad ones. We had some real bad ones, too, and so do they. They have really bad ones. The difference is they don't get rid of them. But let me just explain. I had a choice to make. Do I save it and make it as good as it can be, or do I let it rot? And I saved it. I did the right thing. But <laughs> you it's hear that? never going to be great, and it's too expensive for people. And what we will do is we're looking at different plans. If we can come up with a plan that's going to cost our people, our population, less money and be better health care than Obamacare, then I would absolutely do it. But until then, I'd run it as good as it can be run. So just a yes or no, you still do not have a plan. I have concepts of a plan. Did I'm you hear that? Right now. Did you but hear that? No, I gotta rewind that. I, I, I wanna rewind that. Do you, so do you have a plan? You say I have, I have concepts of a plan. I'm not president yet. Oh, people, let's be serious, man. Who will follow this guy? Who will vote for this guy? I'm sorry. I don't insult people, but this one, if you hear this and you still follow this guy, something is wrong with him and with you. I'm sorry to say that. Come on, let's be honest with each other. So this guy ran for president before, trying to destroy Obamacare before he even started running for president. And he was president. He tried to destroy it. He couldn't destroy it. And when he was trying to destroy, he doesn't have anything to replace it with. Oh, my goodness. And they ask him now, so do you have a plan now? Nine years later, he's telling you he have concept of plan, and he's not president yet. You have to be president before you, you have a plan. People, let me tell you, you have to have a detailed policy, including all the plans of health care, economy, everything, immigration, all the major problems that the president or whatever country you are here, we are talking about America. All the major problems that a president would decide on, you have to have detailed plan on that. You can say, I will increase, I will, I will reduce your taxes by 6.5%. I will increase these, I will do that. You have to have detailed plan. Nine years later, Trump was fighting Obamacare. He couldn't replace it because his fellow Republican in Congress said no. We can't replace Obamacare because it's good. Especially, you didn't have anything better to replace it with. And they're asking you now, you clearly say, you voice it out, that, oh, you have a concept of a plan because you don't have one. You don't have a plan. And you say, you are not president yet. Hashtag, it doesn't go like that, Mr. Trump. For our country, you behave like you are the, the, the first American for our American country. You have to have a plan before you run for president. We don't know who you are running for president. You don't even have a plan for something. You don't have any. That's why you talk about all kind of strengthening on your meetings. And people are stupid enough to be following it. Let me play this thing and stop because this is getting on my nerves. Do not have a plan. I have concepts of a plan. I'm not president right now. But if we come up with something, I would only change it if we come up with something that's better and less expensive. And there are concepts and options we, we have to do that. And you'll be hearing about it in the not too distant future. Nine years later, people, nine years later. Okay, 